So, Cardano releases Gokin roadmap and uh, demos an ERC-20 converter. This, to me, is huge, and I'll tell you why. So, what is Gokin? Well, Gokin is going to allow uh, Cardano to become a full-platform smart contracts. So, Cardano just released the Gokin roadmap yesterday, uh, and it talks about how most parts are scheduled for delivery at the end of February 2021. And to me, I'm impressed. Uh, I know some people don't like it. They're like, "Oh, it's taking so long." But look, I was been I've been a big critic of uh, Cardano for all the all the you know latency that they have, all the waiting, all the you know just how long it actually takes to actually get things done. And uh, I've been very critical. But uh, looking at all the different DeFi products that have crashed and burned nowadays, I tip my hat to Charles Hoskinson and the rest of the team because I'm like, "Hey, good job, not screwing up." Uh, they're doing the right things. They're taking the necessary precautions. And I, for one, as an investor, I'm very happy what's going on. So when I hear that this is going to happen in February, well, that's four months away. So in all honesty, I'm like, you're going to beat Ethereum. So, I mean, that Ethereum 2.0 roadmap could take a year, maybe more. So we'll see how that all works out. But uh, I'm uh, extremely happy uh, with what, what, what is going on here. So with Gogan coming out, Cardano, there's going to be a shift from focusing on transactions just alone to becoming, like I said, a utility platform for partnerships, enterprises, and commercial applications that can be used for complex operations that will define the era of decentralized finance. And, and I, for one, am happy this is actually going to happen. So that's not all. I mean, just on top of DeFi, uh, the addition of transaction metadata to the Cardano blockchain using the Atala product suite is expected to see many use cases from decentralized identification or DIDs to, listen up VeChain, tamper-proof supply chain records. So look, you're going to have smart contracts, you're going to have DIDs, supply chain records, going to DeFi, you're also going to have this ERC-20 converter. So everything that is built on Ethereum right now, you can just easily, like with a snap, uh, just transfer over to Cardano. And I'm going to show you a video right, right now. It's like a minute long, and it's super simple. So if I was Ethereum, uh, I mean, I'm an Ethereum holder. Again, I think Ethereum will still do well, uh, but I hedge my bet, and I put uh, a good amount into Cardano. So one of these guys is going to win. That's all I can tell you. Anyhow, here's the demo, uh, and it just shows... Uh, AGI tokens uh, transferred from the Met a MetaMask wallet into the Cardano blockchain. So I'm going to link this in the description. It's a uh, very long video. It's a two, almost two and a half hours. It's a October Cardano monthly update. It's a lot of great information. I just don't have time to watch all that. So uh, I'm just going to give you the the uh, 70 second snippet of what they're going to do as far as converting the ERC20 token. So let's just take a watch. In the second case, where we are locking the token on the source network and uh, are releasing it on the destination network. The token that we are going to convert is SingularityNet. And the first thing that I need to do is authenticate on Web3. Uh, I'm going to do that with my MetaMask account. And when I'm connected, I'm going to see all the tokens that I have on the account. And I can see the balance that I have for AGI. Now I'm going to select all the tokens that I have. And I'm going to paste in the address. Uh, MetaMask is going to ask me to confirm. I'm going to confirm the transaction. And the transaction is going to execute. When the transaction is done, I'm going to get a message that it was successful. Let's wait for it. Yeah, uh, the migration was successful. And what I can see here is that I have eight tokens on Cardano. So if you're used to using MetaMask, and you should be if you're using uh, Uniswap or SimpleSwap, you just saw the fastest transaction of all time. Not of all time, but you know what I mean. That's simple, that's fast, that's quick. And if you're a just a pure Ethereum holder, you got to take a step back and go, wow, is this going to be the new thing? Anyhow, but it's not all bells and whistles and rainbows as some people are kind of upset. But look, it says right here, this is not limited to utility tokens alone. You can also do non-fungible tokens, security tokens, and a number of other instruments that have value. And then there's a quote from Charles Hoskinson. One thing about Charles, I will tell you this, that guy has no lacking of confidence in Cardano. Every time you hear this guy, it's gonna be great, gonna be fantastic, it's gonna blow it through the water, it's gonna be the next best thing. 
So, hey, tip my hat to him. I mean, at least the guy knows exactly where he's going. But this is the thing that I thought was odd. It said a few members of the community were disappointed by the extended timeline of the rollout and expect this to reflect in the market as well. Cardano was trading at 90 cents or 9 cents, excuse me, at the time of writing, but it's down 8.7 from yesterday. So here's all I got to say. Uh, please, 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 if you have weak hands and, and they're getting so so uh, sore and heavy from holding these bags, just just drop it right now and sell all your Cardano so someone like me can pick it all up and just keep selling because that'd be fantastic as the price goes down. Uh, of course, I'm just kidding, but I will be buying. So let me know what you think in the comment section. Is this a big deal or it's just uh, not? A, it's a big nothingness? Let me know. Let's move on to the next piece.